Uh, Henry, I don't have um, any more uh, size paper, but I have a Monbury. Is this okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely okay. You more okay. better have the same size. Yeah. No yeah. I don't have um, any more size paper, but I have a Monbury. Is this okay? Be sized, okay. Same size, the size uh, was okay. You can use uh, um, unsized if you like to challenge. It's also okay. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's very um, flexible with this uh, um, Orthodox school. They use uh, all kinds of paper and silk, but mostly on paper, I would say. So um, any paper you prefer, you feel comfortable, you know, you should um, get familiar with uh, uh, this by using it. So you can tell uh, later uh, what paper you like. That's the goal of this uh, uh, class. So you should you know, try different uh, styles on different paper. So there's no, no um, restrictive rule what exactly, but if you want to duplicate exactly the master copy, um, we today, uh, for the first uh, first practice, we'll do the urban leaf painting by Dong Chi Chang, uh, mm -hmm. uh, as a collection uh, in Metropolitan Museum in New York. New York. Uh, this was done on sized paper, so si sized paper is it's, uh, the same uh, kind of paper he he used. You can use the uh, mulberry paper, no problem, or other other paper you feel, you know, get handy. Um, <clears throat> let me see, I need to record this. Record. Record. Um, okay, so we are recording it now. I think there's still some people will be late. Um, we have one minute to go. <clears throat> anyway. So let, let's go through some uh, uh, students' work um, in our class. I got very, uh, some very good results there to show, to show off. <laughs> if you haven't seen those, let's see. Uh, let me see which one I got first. Yeah, I, 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 I happen to have this uh, pins work here after the touch up. Okay, let's let's show something here. Oh, let, let's just go to my Facebook because uh, I have uh, uh, created a, a cover story there. So uh, you should, uh, if you are a Facebook user, you can. Uh, add me as friend, or I, I think it's open to public as well. So let me show you just a Facebook page. Um, this is my Facebook page. The address is uh, Facebook uh, Blue Heron slash Blue Heron Arts. If you if you if you want to uh, go there, it's a uh, Facebook.com slash Blue Heron Arts. That's my Facebook uh, page. Uh, I, I put my finished the painting uh, after tying. We finished yeah. last time, last week here. And uh, minimize this. I, I also have the original in the comment area uh, with the it's the, the translation of the uh, original inscription, the poem, you know, described the story or the, the mood. And uh, here is uh, some uh, student's work. Um, this one is by Charlene. Charlene, you, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm I, here, but no, I'm not here. <laughs> you are, uh, I think this is the one, we still wait for the distant mountain, but uh, right. did you edit it? 
I haven't added it yet. No, I haven't. Uh, maybe we, we we need not to have to have that. It's pretty crowded, so at least uh, you don't want to overlap with your signature. So you, maybe you just add a little bit, uh, a little a little tip of uh, the peak there. Maybe a little bit there in the valley. Okay. Yeah, just very, very, very light. Maybe just, yeah, barely seeing, uh, uh, just very, very, very pale blue, maybe. Okay. Don't, don't, uh, don't over. Uh, yeah, I think the original goes up, uh, you know, if, if you copy the original, it will go up, up behind your signature. That, that's uh, too much. So we just leave it, I, I think. Okay. You, you don't have to add. I think nobody would would, uh, would uh, uh, feel you know something missing. This, this is the the mountain we talked about you know, here. Is in, in my copy, uh, as you can see. Uh, Pink did added it after I um, pointed out that uh, she did uh, uh, the the uh, darker yellow. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, that, that really brings out the, the color. Yeah, and thank you for your guidance. <laughs> I think you did excellent work. And I think I, I like the uh, other, uh, I think I can enlarge it, can I? Um, I don't know how to. We don't see it. Oh, you don't see this penny? Oh. Now we oh. see your book. Yes, I see, I see. Uh, I see. Things painting, beautiful. Oh, uh -huh. uh, okay. Yeah, you have to see. Let me sh let me stop sharing and then redo it again. So, should I spotlight me? I think that's probably spotlight. So you can see my table now. If I share screen, so do you see my screen, everybody? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Pin's uh, painting. We can go for screen. So you can see a little larger there. Uh, yeah, she did uh, some uh, uh, airy uh, area uh, like a, a blue in the distant mountains that really add area of perspective. Um, I, she's also good in watercolor. She observed some class uh, with me uh, with plan, with virtual plan air. I see. I see. You, you also do watercolor. That that will help. And thank you. Uh, let me see. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a very special uh, version of uh, uh, this um, this assignment uh, by Emily. Emily, you, uh, Emily did this uh, inscription in a special script after she being a contemporary artist who. Um, try to create uh, some uh, written language across uh, East and West. So this is in English, homage to Tang Yin. You can you read that? I think Emily has uh, um, made it more um, readable <laughs> with the lettering um, part of the inscription. Lovely. Yeah, homage to I really like the whole style, including the border, the inscription, the seal, everything, and um, looks so um, refined and clean. Um, and what paper was that, Emily? Emily is a science the paper, right? I think it's it's a mulberry paper. But oh really? Was... <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I see the smearing here. Yeah, yeah, on the, on the left bit. right side. Yeah, that, that's the absorbent. Okay. But you contoured the uh, um, the uh, absorbency so well. It's almost like a wood block printing. Um, but we, if we enlarge it, we will see your strokes, brush works. Very, very, very nice. Much, much um, uh, better than you know wood block printing. It's more alive. I, I like all the tonality uh, and the, you add the blue uh, indigo to the ink that uh, contrasts with the warm foliage um, on various uh, distance in, in, in close and the background. Th these are all 
yeah, I think everything is uh, is very um, integrated, right. harmonious. Yeah, and yet very contrast. That's that's nice. That that's uh, you don't feel uh, crowded. You know, even the composition is quite full, like we said in the beginning of the class. But uh, he he he's the uh, early pioneer in in creating this kind of uh, rock and roll mountain to change the form of the Southern School, uh, combine the uh, Southern and Northern schools and then uh, kind of um, make the, the, the rock dance, you know, that, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I think you, you did all a um, wonderful job and I feel very um, proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me stop sharing here. Uh, oh, besides, we, we need to uh, tell you why I, 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 because I usually go with the, uh, the um, inspiration or improvising, you know, the, in, the interactivity with the, uh, both the Zoom class and the, my classroom. So last night, uh, I think the day before yesterday, uh, Pam did a, a copy of uh, Dong Qi Chang. Uh, she uh, also leads us to the Metropolitan Museum site. And that really inspired me to do my first <clears throat> attempt, uh, uh, you know, to copy Dong Qi Chang. Although I have read intensively and studied his uh, painting intensively, it's uh, one of my pillow book for years, but I haven't got to hand on um, <laughs> First, you know, approach, first hand approach uh, to him, hear his painting. Uh, let me show you what uh, Pam did, I think. Okay, let's see, Pam. Uh, homework, Pam, here. Okay, let me share this. You can see. <clears throat> Um, yeah, she she has uh, shared some experience of co this copy, and she did very accurate. I believe it's uh, probably with the help of a print. Pam, are you there? Can you describe your? Yes, I did. You did. Yeah, uh, I just I just copied. I I did as you suggested. I folded it into four pieces and just copied. And, Oh, you didn't use uh, you use the grid instead of uh, tracing, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty uh, good. Very <coughs> good control of uh, the composition. Uh, so that's what uh, the number one um, important, uh, um, <coughs> you know, composition count maybe sixty percent of the um, uh, success or fail uh, failure of a uh, painting. So. If you make the composition correct, you you um, you start off very. Uh, yeah, this is the detail. So um, we we I don't see much of the challenge you mentioned, like uh, the calligraphy stroke. It looks simple, but uh, um, actually very difficult for you. It, are you talking about the the tree trunk something? I was talking. The problem I had was with the rocks. I'm trying to understand. Oh. The, the, oh. the rocks below, they, they were very challenging to see. Because uh -huh. I think he, the, the print that I had was, it was very light. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh -huh. after oh, a while, I just I, improvised. <laughs> I see. Yeah, that's good. Um, you, yeah, you, you have to create an uh, impression from the Print or I mean the, the sample or natural mm -hmm. you know in your mind what I, what I say. so you, you that's a good point you 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 uh, you know in in case of you um, you're doing a real landscape or copy a masterpiece <clears throat> you you always uh, need to di digest uh, to um, understand the object you know and create an in impression in your mind or mental image um, you know it could be wrong it could be elusive yeah yeah but 
it doesn't matter. Sometimes that's good. You know, you just pursue uh, what mm -hmm. what your reaction, your field of the uh, object. So okay. if you are clear, uh, if you you know you you if you are clear on that, uh, the viewer will see that. If you if you're not sure, just leave it out. If you have okay. doubt, <laughs> just leave it out. <laughs> don't do something you you don't even know. You know, if you have doubt, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, you did okay. very good. We we don't see any doubt, any 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 doubt. So you you have confidence, uh, no hesitation there. Uh, I, I I think it's excellent. Uh, but you know I can see the uh, the uh, uh, maybe you, you may call weakness or or beginners kind of amateur uh, strokes. But that's mm -hmm. part of Dong Chi Chan's charm. You know he he doesn't. He, he does not pursue the perfection of uh, uh, um, the uh, pr you know professionalism, the skills, but uh, he emphasizes on calligraphy. So very sure marks, even mm -hmm. you know if amateurish is good, uh, and, and with some uh, mind, you know you have to have a, a mind image, and people can see what you try to express that that's all about Deng Qichang. And he created this uh, uh, new approach that uh, emphasis on uh, both the, the um, uh, brushwork and ink uh, and the, the uh, inspir inspiration from nature. So this painting you did, Pam, was uh, one of the two pages that, uh, that was his own composition. Not a copy, not a, not a, uh, because he he tried to combine the north and the south school. He 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 uh, um, proposed, you know, in his theory that uh, the the north is more angular, the south is more rounded. You remember that? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so th that's why you feel a little bit challenged because some some rocks here are. Uh, let me let me pull out the original so you can see. So the uh, the corner on on my left corner is another painting in this is eight page eight leaf album uh, with his own composition a real landscape you might say uh, without uh, mentioning the uh, the cop the the uh, I think. This is a copy of Jiran. Uh, uh, this is a copy of Li uh, Zhan, maybe. Oh, this is Li. Uh, anyway, oh, oh, I have I have a, a note indicate each one. Um, it's after, you know. So he he he's not copy ex uh, exactly a particular painting, but the uh, the style of the the masters. So let me see, where's that painting you did? Is this the one? Yeah, right? Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, that's that's the original. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Yeah. Okay, so he, he has some, some squarish stones there and maybe, you know, um, kneeling style as a, what we call the folded ba ba uh, belt style. It's a uh, rocky or stone. This, this line, this dotted line, is uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of draft. Oh, he just used masters to connect. Maybe. Anyway, so he has some uh, uh, vocabularies or uh, formulas uh, or style guys, style types. Like uh, later we find in our um, master manual of painting. So he, when he teach the student, he uh, break up the, you know, tree and the rock into this kind of, uh, um, this kind of strokes or uh, alphabets, if you like. Okay. Um, that's. Do you have you chance got uh, have, have you got chance to read the, uh, the notes I I took I sent you, last night. About uh, the um, the uh, lineage, maybe the you know the um, 
the relationship between Dong Qichang and the uh, early Qing dynasty um, orthodox school, namely the, the four Wen masters with the same last name. They're not in the same family, maybe the maybe same clan, you know. Uh, some of them are relatives, some, some are not. And they're not in the same age group. Uh, one, one, let me show you the paintings in this uh, collection. Uh, this is Dong Qi Chang's. Let me, let me go to some of his students. Okay, do you see this? This is the earliest, uh, let me change the, this is the, um, not the earliest, okay. This is the, the best, maybe was considered the best um, uh, our best um, example who achieved the synth great synthesizer, right? Great synthesize, synthesize uh, to, um, he, he can, uh, his name is Wang, Wang Hui, Wang Hui or Wang Shigu by his you know, style name, uh, Wang Shigu. He, he is the, um, he's the third generation, uh, the second generation of uh, the four ones. Uh, actually, his grandson of uh, Wang, Wang Shiming, he studied with uh, Dong Qichang. Uh, so, so Dong Qichang taught him all the elements of uh, uh, trees and rocks. And uh, um, he did a, uh, an album called uh, uh, From Small Seeing the Large. Um, we don't have the uh, album here. Uh, he, he had this, uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, this, this is here. The, yeah, this is one of the page from that album called From Small, uh, From Small to See the Large. This one is uh, uh, after Fan Quan. Remember this one? I think we we talked about uh, uh, in the southern, in the northern Song Dynasty. You know, this is a very monumental landscape. Very, and he did this in a, a smaller size, maybe eighteen by twenty-seven. It's quite large, right? Uh, I forgot the, the precise uh, measurement, but uh, you can check my note. Uh, it's much smaller. The original is like two meters long, very large, monumental mm -hmm. landscape. Yeah. So this this painting was done by Wang Shiming. He studied um, with Dong Qichang, and then he taught Wang Hui. Uh, <laughs> At, uh, at his, uh, his age of uh, 40s, after, you know, like 20 years, 20 more uh, years study with uh, uh, his teacher. And another, um, uh, his first teacher was uh, Wang Jian, who is uh, the friend of uh, Wang Shiming, and uh, they, uh, he introduced uh, his student uh, to Wang Shiming. There's, there's sort of sometimes a focus issue on the paintings. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, uh, share the screen so you can see better. Okay, let me see what we can do. Okay, so here, oops, what's this? <laughs> well, that's I, much better, that's great. <laughs> I, 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 now I go back to the, to the, uh, I try to, okay, so, what do you see now? Oh, okay, you see it. Uh, yeah, that that's it, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a little, it's a little blurry still, I think. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we don't have to copy this, so you, you don't you just uh, just this, um, have a general idea what is uh, about Orthodox school, the highest uh, level of uh, this uh, school. So he, he uh, Wang Hui did this album of uh, like 12 leaves and uh, sent it to his teacher at the age of 40. Um, and his teacher uh, returned back uh, maybe six uh, leaves or something. Uh, 
to add to it. So later they, they become uh, one book and pass down, you know, generations. Um, anyway, so the, uh, I think I have a page is by his teacher I mean, somewhere here. But I don't see it. Maybe it was this one, I think. And so it was a copy of the Southern Song Dynasty. Incidentally, the, the youngest of the four ones is my favorite. Uh, I have a lesson on him. It's, uh, his name is Wang Yuan Qi. Um, he is known, uh, you don't have to see clearly, but the, even you know, with this blurry image, you can, you can see the color, right? Um, and then the kind of uh, form of a rock, formation of a rock. Uh, he's known by some critic, contemporary scholars as the Chinese Cezanne. Uh, uh, Do you see any, <laughs> any kind of Cezanne there? Uh, mm -hmm. I have a class um, and uh, I have a class about him and uh, I copied one of, the, uh, one of his colorful landscape paintings on um, and sized paper, the Chicago wing paper, the lesson 28. Anybody remember that lesson? So let me show you what I have here. The, the painting behind me, let me show you. can you see some mm -hmm. a, a scroll there? Uh, it's, it's done uh, in lesson 28. And uh, it's a colorful, colorful word, a copy of a Ni Yun Ni Zhan. Ni Zhan never used color, by the way. He, he, but Wang Yuan Qi, the four ones, uh, is very creative imitators, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, they, yeah, so to be creative uh, when you uh, copy, that's the idea. Okay. Uh, if you like to see this uh, uh, painting, you can go to my. Uh, pre-recorded lesson 28, okay? So today, um, we're going to do one of the urban leaves in the uh, collection of the Metropolitan Museum. Um, it's called the, uh, what is the name of that? The, the 1630 album, that's a, yeah, that's the name. And uh, I think it's, it's, it, it should be something like a after, after ancient masters or something. I forgot the, the, the inscription, the uh, title of that by the artist, but uh, we just call that uh, 1630 um, album because it has a, uh, a page that has the um, the date on it, and uh, Don Chi Chang has also written a um, clock. What is that term? The, a, a, a remark about himself and uh, the history um, of his learning. He, he said uh, he he did this album. Uh, let me pull out the album. Uh, okay, this is a long way. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Henry, did you send us a painting? Yeah, I sent you this page I, I'm going to use for for the for the sample today. Um in the email, right? That, the email. I didn't see it. I didn't know. You didn't oh, see it? Yeah. I sent several of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this and is, and Henry, uh, what, is the book, what is the book that you're using that you're looking at there on the screen? This is the book. It's a very heavy book. It's six, maybe $70. Uh, um, it's an old book. It's, it's a well um, printed. It's a uh, images of the mind. So, uh, mm -hmm. Written by Feng Wang, W O N G Feng Feng Wen, W F A N G W O N G Feng Wen. 
Thank you. Oh, uh, W-E-N, right? One. W, W-E-N, uh, one, form. W-E-N-F-O-N-G. Last name, form. Yeah, one form. And uh, on this page, I, you can get this from the Metropolitan Museum website. I, I just downloaded it last night. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So he he he's he's in this uh, uh, the the back page, the, the last page of this album. He said he started painting in fifteen um, fifteen seventy seven. Um, and until now, it's, uh, it's 53 years. So he did that in, uh, anyway, the, at his age of uh, 75 or 76, if we count the Sui in Chinese, um, you know, we, we count uh, the time in, before, you born, before you were born. As one, so when you're born, you're one year old, right? <laughs> <laughs> pro life, <laughs> Chinese culture is pro life. So, huh? <laughs> so uh, he's a six, uh, 76 years old um, when he did this painting, or 53 years after he started doing uh, landscape painting. He even recorded the months of the, the fourth month of the, that year, 1577, is when he started. So this is a uh, uh, 1630, and uh, he compared himself to the uh, the Buddha, you know, and tried. He said he tried to to turn the wheel of the law, the wheel of the law of painting, and uh, he compared himself also with Mi Mi Fu and says, uh, I wish uh, my style, you know, even uh, not yet established, but uh, I hope um, in, in the later generation will not uh, say there's no Dong, because in Mi, Mi, Fu, the, Mi Fu has uh, some a theory of uh, uh, there's no, uh, no, Mi, uh, no Li, and uh, later, he, he does not have any uh, painting left. So if you don't have influence, people would, would not treasure it, right? <laughs> so he wished his painting would last at least uh, better than other um, famous artists like me. For he did not have uh, any uh, one way, you know, the painting, uh, Don Xisang, uh really look after, try to collect, but he couldn't really find any, maybe just one um, possible, possibly in his collection. So um, anyway, so he tried to, he is very clear on his mission, you know, to what he tried to achieve. By the way, I just uh, um, had my mission with this class. Did you read that? Uh, let me, <laughs> I, I sent you in the email. So my mission is to play this, the composition of ancient masters. So next time when you go to the museum uh, in front of those uh, um, originals, and you can play the music of a uh, brush uh, and ink in your mind. Okay, that, yeah, that's my mission. Okay. I wish you, you like that. Okay. And uh, so the painting we're going to do is this. Oops. Uh, this is our Dong Chi Chang's uh, work. Okay, I showed you some. Some are very simple, some are... Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, you can see some very... Maybe the he did it in different... Uh, uh, he, he's very prolific. Uh, yeah, some large paintings are more elaborated and lot, some simple ones, maybe just uh, practice. Okay. Uh, oh, this one is very similar to the one we're doing. And uh, thank Pam for your comment. <laughs> I try to com combine music and painting, yeah. Um, thank you. The the painting here is very similar to 
the painting we're going to copy. So that's why I think it's good to understand the, you know, some you can you can vary, you can you can be um, creative. So let's see the difference between these two and the the, the one we're going to copy, um, and maybe some others similar to this. And, you know, to some. Um, you know, come on uh, people's eyes, they are all the same, right? But for us, you, you start to see the difference maybe. So the horizon line is, is a kind of a, a slant in his painting. So even if it's a, it's a um, leveled view, he tends to uh, have these diagonals, okay? So it has more move, movement. Um, he, he, inter he interprets the the movement of the chi uh, is in the, in the uh, stones and trees itself, not uh, has to do with those voids, that's uh, the, the, the chi, the, the, the air, you know, chi means air, right? But we, we talk about the, the gestures, gesture chi, the movement, gesture, momentum, this kind of thing. Um, and he, he said, these two paintings he did after the style of Nizan has the marrow, bone marrow, you know, the essence of it. He's very confident to tell you that. <laughs> of, but you can see it's not a, a very dear copy of Nizan, everybody knows that. But he thinks he, he got his, uh, he extracted the, the uh, marrow from his, his, his from uh, uh, Nizan. Does it? This one is more angular. He, he, he think this is later than Nizan compared to the round ones. Um, maybe, oh, this is the one we're going to copy. Um, so so we, can, we can borrow some other um, part of a painting if we need, you know, we can go back to other paintings to, just to create our own. Uh, I do like this painting. I think yeah, I'm going to maybe just adapt a little bit to the, the paper uh, I got. So we don't have to do exactly, oh, I got a cut on this one. So if I take that out, it would be probably same proportion, but I think we just, I, I, I think I, I just use the, um, what is the, it's about 12 of the four sheets, I think 12, 12, one twelfth of the four sheets that, that kind of cut. So it's a roughly maybe 14 or and eight, something like that. So I'm going to use this uh, um, mustard brush. You can use any stiff brush, uh, like a calligraphy brush. I got uh, general ones, because he, some of his brush um, strokes very sharp, I think. Uh, you can use a basic uh, wolf or, or uh, other brushes. Like. Okay, so let's try, try this one. I got overnight ink here from him left over. Um, from a previous class. So I, I use a peach sap glue to resituate it a little bit. I got some peach sap glue on my palette from day one, I think. Okay. And I need to dilute it. Oh, you don't see my, uh, I don't think you're seeing my table, forgive me. So I, I just got ink here from ink stone, leftover ink and uh, uh, blend a little bit. This is ink, uh, this is the peach sap. So you get some glue back, you know, because the glue tend, it, when, when the ink gets dry, the glue uh, is, a uh, um, uh, destroyed, maybe. So you, it has more um, granite, granite, granules, what do you call it? Grains. In, in the, in the. So I, I can also add 
I got some leftover color here. I just add a little, little yellow, whatever. Or you can add some green, you know. I, you don't have to. I just got dirty palette here. So my gray has a little bit kind of uh, You know, so it turns green, a little green, I think. So we, we'll start from this uh, near ground. Um, we call it opening part, opening, opening of a painting. So uh, he, he created this, this uh, set of uh, um, term, opening and closing. <clears throat> so opening from the right corner uh, just about one or, or quarter from the, uh, of the whole page, you start doing the tree, right? So maybe one third. Okay, so that's that's the proportion of that tree. So I'm going to do this this tree this uh, uh, round maybe ginkgo tree. So that kind of that foliage kind of, it could turn yellow in this days. So about one third there. And another, uh, it's about to maybe one third from a vertical division. I think that's the golden spot to start to the, we, we don't have to start from the top. You can start from the, where the, the branch starts to split. So let me just start from this the top, okay. You start from light, you can go back, but sometimes he will go directly to dark, then you cannot change it if, you, uh, if you're not good at that. You know, some, some dark strokes are, are added later, I think. To, so I do the left, then the right, and they have frequent stops at the, uh, especially the, the point where you have another branch so it goes up and goes like a V, a little V, and then uh, continue. Can you see? Let me focus a little more. Okay. Henry, the question between the foreground and the background is water. Yes, or... yes, good question. Yeah, that's a, like a new name style. We don't do the water, you just leave it uh, like a lake or river. Leaving Ping Yuan are leveled, perspective. Okay, then the house seems kind of on the water. Is that right? Mm. Or I'm not reading it right. Oh, that's a flat, uh, that's a flat uh, platform. Uh, it's a flat. Um, Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make it clear. I, I, I'll show you. Yeah, that's a question and we, we, want, we want to solve. So uh, try to vary. So this left side has uh, several uh, sections. They are not the same. So short and then you know, longer. And then we have this uh, knob or something like a protruding to the... Um, left it in. It's like a knot uh, or where you, you know, have the, the uh, twist, twist, yeah. And he, he will use the tip, con tip concealed stroke, hold the stroke uh, straight, a brush straight, okay. And you can, so sometimes I, I add a little ink, uh, maybe to save time, I just use the uh, the ink um, directly the tone, so I don't have to go back to charge it. Um, yeah, I think that's how I do it. So I just use a medium gray. You can still go darker, not the darkest. Yeah. Um, here we have like a fork, so some uh, some small branch, some and then a major one. And some in the front of the, the trunk, you know, I emphasize on that. Okay, so this goes behind. Uh, I always do the left first, I think you should. Um, you might, before you go to the next stop, just 
just um, keep your eye on that. So you you know uh, you can you can hold the brush uh, at the the starting point and then look for the next stop before you go. So you you don't have hesitation in between. You can hesitate at the turning point, but not in the middle of the stroke. And you can stop on this paper. You can stop. You, it, it's good to go slow. Okay. Um, I think I may have got the root too low. Let me see. Can I change that? So let me let me shorten it. Let me just put a rock there. So I just stop there. It's it's better to have a pencil if you're not good at uh, drawing, maybe. But I just tried my. Okay, this is this is stroke on the left on the right side is very um, cursive. Yeah, and then uh, some uh, kind of root, some kind of root. That's it. I think uh, this one goes down. Or, oh or, shoot! Can I just mute you guys? If you someone made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> don't don't worry you can blot it you, on this paper if you're using size paper you can blot you can blot it out um, let me do that because we're using light ink you know you can cover it with a foliage landscape is very easier to to change to make to correct Okay, so there's no single um, section is absolutely straight. You know that's uh, the idea. So you 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 kind of, but you don't have to um, make the line like a waving or something. Just a, a curve, you know, and frequent stop and turn. It just Try to um, just try to copy. <laughs> okay, so now next we we'll do this uh, leaves, right? <clears throat> Let me enlarge it so you can see. Um, we try to look for the pattern of uh, uh, the group. Normally, we we should find something like a five or three. It's a good number. So, uh, based on that, you can add more. So let's just do three in a in a uh, in a uh, group of a pin. You know the character pin rank. You learned from the calligraphy lesson from the Victoria the other day. If you took take a, if you watched um, that. And you can see the the circle is not complete. You know, you don't. Some of them maybe, but he does very fast. So um, you can go either. The opening is on the bottom part. So some something like that. So I do three, and then I I add another three, but it's kind of overlapping. And then you can then add more. So the idea is to. Um, for the trunk. So some trunk may be buried uh, by, you know, covered by height by this, uh, this leaves. It's, it's good. I squeeze out, I squeeze out the, um, the branch. You don't have to um, leave any space, but there are some space I know. <coughs> So generally speaking, you, you want to squeeze out, you, you want to um, use this dance to, to dance uh, leaf to squeeze out to the, the white trunk a branch. Just keep doing, you know, and then you be, it become a uh, muscle memory. You just do it subconsciously. So your mind is more concentrated on where, uh, the leaves are, or the outer shape, outer shape, 
of the um, the 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 tree instead of on individual strokes. The stroke is calligraphic. So when you need, you just do a circle. It's it's a, um, it's not perfectly round, but some of them maybe. But you, it's not a um, requirement for making it absolutely wrong. You just you see that uh, stroke, right? So it's like uh, one stroke, but it's grass style or raining style circle, or or little anzo if you like the, the Japanese uh, or ja Chinese Buddhist. Uh, um, little anzo kind of just one stroke for each we keep the the circle relatively the same size the same size that's very, very important um, and don't don't reload the brush too often so you've got um, solid and so soft lines and even uh, some variation uh, tonal variations so in the beginning of the stroke you see some darks uh, and then you when the brush gets light, it, it becomes light. You can see that to kind of change. So his, his painting is very amateur, typical scholar amateur. It, it, the more, um, the, uh, it's kind of careless, but uh, it does care the, what it cares is the, <clears throat> the confidence, the, the the calligraphy, the xie attitude, you know, the right instead of paint attitude, like the professional artist. Xie and the paint is two different uh, kind of uh, um, approach to, to painting, to literary painting, more like a calligraphy. So he he's, um, he thinks the calligraphy of, of ancient painting is better than natural landscape. However, the strange um, shape of rocks uh, found in nature still um, surface the, the painting, the man-made composition. So we, he, 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 he tried to, okay. Yeah, I tried to. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, I see some uh, dark, maybe on the shadow part. I don't think he would really consider that. Uh, uh, that you know, uh, where you put the dark where you put the light. The point is, don't paint in single tonality or single shape, uh, you know, or if you make all the circles this, exactly the same, that's what we call too even or too flat, too ping, too um, um, ping, like Huang Ping's ping, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> how, how do you translate the ping, ping Huang? Peace, peaceful, yeah. peaceful, yeah. But in in, in painting, calm. Too, 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 yeah, calm, calm is also ping. Another ping, uh, meaning in, uh, of ping is uh, too flat, right? To, uh, I mean flat or even. It's uh, so we want to make the the painting look uh, uh, more uh, varied and uh, um, uneven, so not not uh, too flat. And now I concentrate on the the shape of the the outer contour. You you, you should see, so they are not uh, like a little like a canopy, you know, like a a, a, a uh, uh, umbrella or something. So it should vary the vary this uh, con contour, vary the the outside shape. That's more important than the individual strokes here. So next time, uh, next uh, is the second tree, but we, we need to make some ground plans. So you will have uh, 
uh, a start. Okay. So I'm going to do this uh, problematic rock, uh, you know, playing with the. Uh, so as we mentioned in the first class, there are three dimensions, and Dong Chi Sang is a very, um, <clears throat> very literal about that. You can see there's a Y there on the corner here. Uh, that little extra dash is it belongs to the must dot, okay. But this Y is his idea of a uh, um, three dimension. So one, two, three. you just write a Y. That's it. That's the three dimension. <laughs> Easy, huh? And then you you rub, you rub with the dry brush. I happen to have dry brush. If the brush is dry, you know, you can just uh, do the uh, uh, contour and the uh, shaping or surface texture or some, you know, the different uh, translation, but we call it the chun. Chun means wrinkle, wrinkle um, at the same time as you, as you do that. Or you can wait it to um, dries. So you can then develop this, this uh, another rock here. And remember, we also use the, the word uh, chill, right? <clears throat> chill. <coughs> Excuse me, I need some water maybe. Let me get some water. <clears throat> Yeah, chill, <coughs> chill means heal. Uh, another word similar is a uh, uh, sand on, on mountain, right? Um, <clears throat> but um, in, in Penny Rocks, we use this. Uh, the standard script is this. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to outline all the formation here. And you can use light ink, light ink, if you're not sure. So let's do, here we have, we try to, I try to find where the stone nodes are. So you can, you can have a nose there, we call it stone nose, that's the front piece like a face in the middle of the face a stone nose yeah this is the uh, now he, uh, he 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 used the uh, kind of a hemp uh, but with uh, some kind of waving like a wang meng, the the entangled entangled stroke yeah that that's kind of a, but you you need to go with the contour uh, he he identified the rule of a uh, uh, Wang Huang Gong Wang's, uh, Huang Gong Wang's the Yuan Dynasty master. He says, uh, all you need to do is do the contour and put some straight, uh, like a you know straight texture in 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 the in the shady part on, in the middle of the contour. That that's it. So that's just make it easy. You, you make a contour and then you just add parallel hemp fiber. He, he does not use um, wet wash. I think a pen was very uh, good uh, to uh, do not use a wet, wet brush wash. That, that's very different than contemporary artists. They, they, they tend to use water, too much water. So you use a, a dry brush, dry wash, you know, you, you can you can see a lot of like a um, scampering or or scratching. I call it uh, like a cha rubbing. Yeah, that's the the better word I think. So just uh, you don't see that under the seal. I just do something 
parallel lines. So you, you just put it in the, you know where to put, right? The against the, the light. So you kind of uh, foil out the, the yang with the, the yin. <laughs> it's uh, the shade uh, against the, the highlight of the neighboring plane. Okay, here we need to do the tree before I go further. I think we need to, the tree is in front of the rock. So the tree goes first here. Use pointed brush, I think. Um, the, the trunk is partially behind, so we, we just paint along this edge of the foliage. Uh, okay. There's a kind of pretty straight. It's a different kind of tree, just like that. And a little variation on this uh, on the other side, parallel basically, and then just a straight um, some bark. Don't repeat actually. Okay, now. Um, the top okay and try to get some zigzag going there so not not a perfect straight okay <clears throat> You don't have to do a complete line because you can use leaves to um, fill in the blank. Now my brush is pretty dry. I think he just used the dry brush uh, to do this, uh, this uh, uh, knee dot. It's a very different than me's uh, raining landscape. Uh, notice that uh, the, the, the height is, is different. Uh, this, this uh, black tree or gray tree is a little lower, so that's how how it is uh, lower than this uh, uh, outlined tree, right? The me dots, and he used dry brush. It gives you soft edge like that. You know, just press, just press, and then just stop. You know, pause, and. There's some, some variation in the um, size. And the, so you create a different, um, different uh, contour of this, this, this uh, I don't know what this tree, it could be a wutong or some large fo foliage tree, doesn't matter. It's an ab abstract. So, from now on, don't ask me what kind of tree, they don't care about the, the uh, uh, name of the, the tree. Maybe pine tree would be the only tree <laughs> in this painting. I don't know if there's a, or there, there might be some uh, red words, you know, just like a Li Zan's painting, you don't really, uh, you cannot really identify all the different uh, um, trees uh, we tried in our other class. So it doesn't matter what the tree is, but just vary the uh, the, the strokes. I think, yeah. Let me mute you guys. <clears throat> and I can add just a little bit dark to the shady part. Just for for me, it's a my my temperature i mean humidity here is very very low these days so it tends to dry pretty fast so i have to go back to add more water here and you can use the a scrap paper to test before you go onto the painting 
There we go. I try to do this one a little darker here, at least here. Right? That's what he got. Some shades. But you can you can make uh, some solid ones. And most of them are loose, very dry. And just leave that white, uh, white uh, branch. Squeeze out the white branch. That's it. Some some dots could go in between, uh, in front. But most of his uh, trees like look like a. Uh, you take a, a giant uh, cleaver or, or uh, knife, cut it into half. So it's like a white uh, trunk and uh, um, dark leaves. Yeah. Oh, I got dark. That's okay. So if we got dark there, we have to disperse a little bit here and there, you know, just to balance that. I think he he likes he likes um, dark. If you look at uh, all his um, other paintings, you will realize how dark he goes. But the other artist, uh, Wang Hui, uh, the um, the best of the four one in um, in the uh, Orthodox school. <clears throat> he he likes both dark and the light contrast. So every every uh, artist could be a little different, even they are in the same trend in the same uh, school of uh, painting. So let me just add some more leaf to to. Uh, hide this part of the trunk and to uh, get some overlap there too. Okay, so they have a overlap and create some depths. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add so two, one host, one guest. That's perfect. And uh, we need to add some uh, forest behind but before that we just do this house and uh, maybe the rock in front of the house we should do that the rock is lighter drier okay and just try on different paper first when you feel ready, just there you go. So basically, it's it's very simple shape. He's not a professional artist, but he did this for fifty three years. Fifty three years, but he still uh, try to uh, create a unique style of his in the art history. So he 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 tried to turn the we are of the law. The law is uh, um, calligraphy, I think, uh, in painting. So he he tried to create this the the uh, alphabet of uh, the new style. The rules. So here's a little chill kind of formation there. Um, so. Oh, you cannot see here. Okay, <clears throat> there's some some. Uh, you can see the steps. Yeah, that's very important to when you do uh, water. So we need to. Uh, this is how I do it. I I use a, a dry brush, maybe a little wet because it's water, to do some. Uh, not exactly horizontal, but uh, the, like indicate the surface of the, the water, like that. And just uh, and then you use dry brush to get to 
blend into into the, the that. So there, there might be some uh, blurry. That's okay. Soft, soft. Yeah, it's not a cut it, cut line. There should be some kind of rough, soft. Um, so this this is there, and you don't have to really copy exactly. The idea is uh, large uh, amount small and uh, or small surrounds large. So vary the shape of the. So this is the uh, the other side of this little harbor kind of. So this this little opening of the. Um, the bank here, that, that's where the, the plan, uh, the building was built on. And there's little kind of straight line there that indicates the ground, the flat ground, the edge of the, the platform. So I, I identified that and then I just put a water line there and you can I think yeah you can just draw a line of the water there with light maybe a little lighter ink and uh, I think generally uh, we don't do a, a straight line under the wall uh, on on the bottom of the, the, the rock above water but uh, um, yeah just to do a partial maybe just and then you you suggest the water with uh, these horizontal lines. They vary in uh, in the distance between, and uh, maybe get gets a little wider here near the viewer. In terms of perspective, but we don't have to worry too much about perspectives, and. We do see some kind of plan for the here. So this is the dark, the hollow part. This is this is a round rock there. All right. So now I do the 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 building with a light gray ink, same kind of ink, not much different tones, but just different stroke. Yeah, different kind of stroke. So this stroke is a uh, um, straight holding the. So you can draw a pencil line if you want. Just to I imagine you know where the 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 wall line is and just go from the top. Uh, it's like a triangle, like so. And I extend that a little bit as an eave. <laughs> I'd use a dry brush so I can go slower, maybe too dry. And just a little bit of water. This paper does not smear, so you can you can do that. So this is not uh, uh, done in multiple steps. So he just draw with one one shot. Uh, the perspective in Chinese painting sometimes is reversed, so the the, the far side could could get larger. But we don't have to do that. We can be more scientific. Um, so this, but they do have this uh, kind of uh, relationship, like uh, what's above. But he doesn't really worry about anything like architecture. Okay, well, that's the eve, right? And we don't have to do the roof there. You just draw a line for the wall and then just draw you know, a line there and line here. Definitely not on this, but here may be wrong, you know, scientifically, but that's okay. Um, and some architecture features like a verticals um, and then open a window it's under the eave so uh, you don't see the top of the window actually like that and then the bottom of the 
um, the, the ground. Okay. So this is not a same kind of a object. So you can use a dryer brush, maybe lighter to draw the ground line, but not to lose the tip. You don't have to, to, to use a uh, split brush, no. Just kind of uh, not perfect straight, maybe just kind of wavy, a little bit rough, maybe, yeah. But not, not scrub, scrambles, just a, some kind of wrinkle on the ground. Just create a, a sense of a flat, uh, again, his painting tends to be diagonal, so it's not perfectly flat. So it goes a little lean to the lower left. Yeah. Well, I consider this as a shadows, maybe. No, we'll just do more on this side, maybe. Okay. And uh, some kind of... Uh, uh, so these are ground. Um, uh, actually, I should I should keep it lower than the eave, but in the perspective because our eye level is <laughs> higher, it could go. The ground could go beyond the the, the building. Uh, okay, so just whatever. And then there's a little cliff there, and uh, you can go up that. Yeah, this, that's a cliff. I do the contour, oops, there. Okay, just draw the contour and then, so this is not the important part, just use light, dry, <coughs> light and dry. Okay, this should open, I think it's better to keep it open. Could be the way it comes in. Um, let me just wash it, blot it, maybe. Let's see if I can take anything off. I blocked the entrance. Okay, just leave it. Leave that. Okay. And uh, okay, we got this rock, and uh, yeah, we just need to add the jungle. We will be done with the foreground. So I I can start with the light. So you can change. Uh, you can add essence uh, to, to modify. Later. So we just use the light ink, which is lighter than the front. And it could be drier too. So a little more yellow, maybe. Happen to have some dirty color on the palette. We don't have to add anything. So let's look at the, the top one. So there's one. You do the trunk first, and then you add this uh, this red wood or san 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 shu. How do you say that? This uh, kind of old oldest one of the oldest tree in the planet, I think. Yeah, san. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, let's just do all the five trees. And uh, so this is a little lower than. Okay, I think I may change the, the position a little bit. Doesn't matter. And this one links to the. Right, a little bit. Okay, so they're not all perfectly straight. 
Do this, do a bit like that. And this is pretty large. You can do the So you, you just uh, draw this curvy long strokes for the uh, kind of foliage. It could be pine. Yeah, just have fun, you know, just have fun. Just uh, keep it neat and uh, not asymmetrical, 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 uh, not symmetrical. So that's the key. And they have some fat, some uh, big, some small, some kind of uh, individuality of that. And I, we have a strong contrast on this tree. So we'll, we'll use uh, some dark and some very light, create some interest. We can use just a dry brush to get the light. And this goes behind. And you can see some uh, bushes maybe on the ground. And the, okay, here's the, if you need to change, don't repeat with the same tone. Add a little, little ink to it and make some uh, dark gray to redefine it. And you can do this after it dries because uh, that way you won't bleed. So let's just uh, wait a minute and uh, let's see what we can do. The mouse dots could be dotted uh, yeah, later when all everything is dry, so you create a, um, a uniform rhythm with that. Okay, so I, let me just use my dark on the tree I already loaded. To, you can you can have some kind of what we call this accumulate accumulate ink, which means a um, second or third layer. But not repeating. You you can you can add an overlapping stroke if you if you think it, it's not dark enough. You know, just add another layer to enhance it. Okay. I think the idea is to he had is to have this kind of a. Uh, brought the strokes like a, we call this uh, almost like a big confused dots and dry with you know contrast with the small round ones so so maybe the dots should be a little bigger I'll just make it bigger but keep the sense like uh, you did it with stroke okay now let, let me add the dark foliage. I mean, reinstatement like that. You can add just almost pure ink sometimes. And it's too dark. And he doesn't. Uh, he does not really care the. Uh, you know, you can see this tree here. There are some uh, add-on uh, on top and just omit the middle. That's okay. You don't have to go through all. Oh, just incomplete, I think, is the idea. Suggestive idea. Yeah. So you, you kind of have some uh, accent. Ex accent. Yeah. Accent. Yeah. That's the function of this this kind of dark and you can accent to the top of the tree and just write a character like a like the the lean character for the calligraphy lean uh, or move wood yeah in, in cursive in um, pictograph style I have a little gap between these two. I think that would be fine. And you can add a little bit um, 
vegetation may be behind. I don't know if it is enough. Yeah, so you just uh, like that. And uh, you can, you can, you can, uh, before you do the mass start, you can still add uh, some uh, sh uh, what we shaping strokes. Not not um, losing the the brushwork, you know. Just not just uh, scratch. It's, you can st you still paint it. A draw, not not a paint. I mean, right. You can use uh, this kind of a cursive uh, rope, like a retang uh, untangled rope style. So he has a lot of elements from various artists. Uh, the Yuan Dynasty, uh, Song Dynasty. Uh, here is he got you got the the angular stone, like me means river bank. This is also kind of angular. Here. Okay, this is what we call in composition the um, opening. Opening of it. Henry, move the picture up, the painting up a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that's my finish. Okay, I still have something missing here. So I need to fill in that. This is it. Uh, let me see. Oh, I missed up. I messed up. This is the shading part here. That that has some uh, bushes or so things like that. So that's uh, that should be a light part. Anyway, uh, we'll just make this shady. We'll just make this shady part. I can make some uh, kind of a uh, wrinkle or vegetation, whatever, to to separate the plants. That's that's the idea. So dry brush, dry wash, not a wet wash. Yeah, there's no no door. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe on the other side facing the river. Okay. Oh, I need to have some uh, behind the, the behind the house. So there's some uh, vertical lines, short and tall. Um, behind this tree somewhere, and just horizontal lines. These are not. Uh, uh, Bamboos, so they're straight and uh, kind of vertical and the horizontal combination. It's more like a pine tree could be, I think. And there's some a top of the more like a, yeah a triangle. It's getting small, shorter on top. Um, it 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 should be asymmetrical. So this side maybe longer. Don't have to be the same. Some num yeah, vary the numbers also. Maybe just a little suggestion of a very light color, very light ink behind. So that that also that gray foil out to the white beauty. This is a, this is a imaginary uh, home. Spiritual home, <laughs> like of the artist. Yeah. Okay. So far, we have done the foreground. We call this part the opening of the the composition. Then we will have to close it, which means to balance it. The closing is usually on the other side of the river or lake. So the so, so something in between. Uh, this is suggested as a water, the white, you know, leave it white. You don't have to use different tones. It could be a little lighter though. Okay, so 
Let's look at the whole picture again. <coughs> so outline the large formations first. And you, you need to know where the peak is, right? So um, we can start from the stone nose, where the stone nose is the front of the, um, the, the rock. All right, so we can also start from this uh, major, major shape. It's a triangular shape. It goes up there and uh, reach a little peak and goes to the left, but they're not symmetrical triangle. Uh, it's not, not the same lens there. And then here's the stone nose kind of thing. Uh, and the dragging vein is in the middle of that. Because a slope to the right and then lean to the left, lean to the left. So the ground is not leveled. Okay, here we have another, should be another formation. You can start to add shaping st strokes. So let's see. Some divisions of this rock. Okay. Okay. And even uh, here, there's a um, flat, uh, what do you call this, uh, platform or um, tag, terrace, right? So we need to create a flat. So it's not a barren ground. It's some, some something you can go and rest. So that's a flat formation there. In the, uh, maybe uh, I made it too big, but uh, let's uh, Let's see what we can do. Just make it smaller. Yeah. That's how big that is. I try to exaggerate that. But that's in the distance, so you need to. So this is what we call the bro the broken, the bandit belt uh, stroke from uh, Lin Yuning's late according to Dong uh, uh reading of it. Okay, and so this like an angular, angular shape, horizontal and a vertical combination there for this uh, cliff. Yeah. Cliff. And then uh, there are some kind of uh, uh, parallel parallel um, wrinkles or hemp hemp fiber strokes. I kind of lost the, the inner contour there. I, I will have to redefine later. So there's a rock here. You don't have to copy exactly, but uh, some some small rock uh, at the bottom of this large piece that kind of uh, stops that trend of a f and goes up like that, and here goes down. I'm going to go a little faster, otherwise I will be out of time. We have uh, one uh, half an hour left. Right? So this is the peak of the whole painting, right? But very far. And then go a little bit. That's a different uh, plan, a distant distance. It goes way down, goes up, something like that. And then we have the a 
there's a long may uh, dragon man there. If you're not clear, just use a dry stroke. And then we use uh, uh, this uh, hemp fiber again to just simply add the the this the uh, bank. And there's a little rock, little island there, offshore. So this is a shoreline. Then this is offshore. There's a water there. And there's a water there. Uh, you can you you can enhance you can fill in all the blanks more later. So just have some division lines. And uh, here we have a new opening. <clears throat> so we call this uh, this opening on the bottom, and this is closing uh, the balance this too. And now we open this mo this mountain can need to to back to be balanced. So this is a closing to this one. You understand? So within each one, uh, even even you know some group, there's uh, you can say this is an opening, and then we we balance with this island here. Okay, that, that's a, that's the balance of this one, the distant one, and then we have this little little one. Um, let me see, is that right place? Okay. Doesn't matter as long as you understand, you know. When I paint this, actually I'm looking at the here. So they 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 belong to the same uh, opening and the closing group pair, pair, right? Do you understand opening? I have an old video on YouTube. If you if you search opening and closing in Chinese landscape, you'll find it. Um, yeah, that's a Maybe I also have a DVD on that, yeah. including dragging me. It's it's in the um, I'm not sure if it's in the online class. I should I will put the link there later after this. So we, we have to create something that goes uh, beyond the edge here. So let me. I see some kind of platform on top of this, maybe a, just suggestively. You don't have to do exactly the, the uh, master copy. Now I, I draw these water lines with light ink. I just add water to the tip of the brush, almost like adding uh, a color. So it, it, it kind of soft, soft, yeah. Maybe too light. Then you can use a dry brush to charge it. You know, dry brush on wet stroke to to create um, to add a color. So you can start with a dry brush also, and then add water. That's another way of doing this. So um, Henry, should we put the? Uh, horizon line tilted. I still have some uh, issue. I, I think it looks better if it's a horizon line is level. Uh, yeah, is it that? Let's do this one leveled here. Yeah, I just that's a that's a perspective issue. Let's solve. That. Yeah, let me just do this like that. So uh, we try to keep the uh, keep the movement, but. But balance it with a little bit. Yeah, you should get a little more. Uh, this is tilted, tilted, and then get a little more leveled. So the may, may be leveled there, you know, in the in the corner. Okay, I think it's it's good, right? <laughs> Let me see. Okay. It, yeah, as long as you have some kind of other uh, balance, I think this tree. May also serve as a balance, as an eye stop. So you will not just you know stop the, the trend towards the right. This this little pine tree on the rock. 
But that, that could be an eye stopper. So look for other, um, because in Chinese painting, we consider this is like a, a part, a parted landscape. So you're looking at it above the part. So there's no horizon line, <laughs> you know, or a fish tank, you understand? So we're placing this element, it's pre-made by Dong Qi Chang into the fish, the fish tank or the pot, miniature landscape. That's the idea, yeah. It's a miniature landscape. It's like a um, mo model of a, a real landscape. You look at the uh, shot, uh, how do you say? So we, we never worry about horizon line. You look at it from above, but uh, I know the the uh, their horizon line moves, so it's beyond the paper maybe. Okay, let me use very light ink to finish this uh, this part. Just add more uh, twin strokes, so we we can go to. So look at the shi. Don't you sound call it shi, a structure or tendency distance. And then uh, look for texture in, in close up. Right? So you can see a lot of angular stone. So these are stone mountains that we call it. Uh, this is his, his interpretation of the X cut, <laughs> you know, or the evening's uh, um, bent or the bent um, belt, is it, you know, like a square ish, square ish, like that, you know, use, uh, use the side of the brush. Not not too much though, just uh, yeah, just yeah, like, like that. See, that's leaning style there, and you can use the side of the brush to uh, to rub. rub we can see the, it. Okay, you can see. And the, I I try to create the pattern so it gets a a, a dragging vein somewhere there. On top, the the dragging veins is a it's a light, so I use this to the rock to leave and leave this vein, this uh, ridge line, white, yeah. and just uh, use dry strokes, light strokes. The dark is uh will add it on uh, with uh. We call the mass dots, vegetation dots, yeah. And then you can see the the dots could serve as a as a line later, so you don't have to fill in all the uh, define all this. And there, the pretty much you know some maybe this is a real landscape. So he there's a lot of uh, detail here. You, you see some uh, rock on this on this on this. Uh, piece of rock, some some uh, details. So th this is his original uh, real landscape painting. Maybe he sees from the Liangzi River or somewhere. You know, we have some kind of a uh, rock um, mountain along the Liangzi River in, in the area where. where it, the, yeah, the South artist live. Okay, and uh, these are rope uh, or hemp kind of a stroke. Parallel lines, so South, this earthen, earthen and the rock combined, you know, in this painting. And you can see the ridge is uh, uh, left white, empty. So this shady part concentrate on the lower part. I need to highlight this contour. He, he used dark. So this is how you de redefine things. Maybe just use your dark and going with one shot. Yeah. Just use line and then Maybe he used the same brush to dot, you know, at the same time he does this, he just failed to fill. So this is, this is he, he does the 
um, define the dimensions of the, the rock. And this is, you can see all the dots relatively kept in the same uh, position, like just like, you know, the way you hold the brush, you don't have to vary the shape, the direction, you just add this kind of uh, music, <laughs> music rhythm to it, just like a, uh, orchestra, you, you have a different instrument playing different uh, part of, you know, like, a, this is like a drum, maybe. Violin and, and the lines, you know, different lines could be cello or some, some other sound in the painting, so to speak. So this is the cliff. I need to make that vertical. Some, the line could be, it should be very um, calligraphic and then uh, add dots, round, uh, pointed dots actually. So his, I, I can see his uh, water lines is not dry. He, he just use a wet brush and just drag it like that. So. It's pretty full of water it's because it's a water line. So you just draw like wet brush. Almost. So, so the bottom is the land. Here is the water. Yeah. They're yeah. all lines, right? So uh, how, how should I paint land, paint land and the water different? This, this, you mean this, this, uh, this, uh, yeah. this ground? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I think this is drier. Yeah. Basically, it's just a feel, a very subtle. I, I really cannot really tell you the difference, but uh, uh, maybe by logic mind, you know, you, 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 you think okay. that. The, the house is not a boat, <laughs> maybe because it's a house. And this is relatively dry, I can see. And this is relatively, uh, this line is relatively wet. Just the, uh, yeah. I think this, this line's, this line's obviously very uh, fluid, fluid and uh, it's, you, can, you can see lots of water, right? Yeah, that, that's probably important, so we use, more water in this, um, what do we call current? We just call it current lines, maybe. Okay, yeah. use the dry yeah. or? Yeah, he, he's a, uh, uh, as long as you, you understand it's water, then your brush should just uh, uh, make people to feel, you know, it's, it's flowing or, um, you know, it's not a uh, stop. Okay, here is very abstract. It's just three dimensions. Dun, 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 dun. That's the cliff, right? So this is the the top. And this is the side. That's and then here's the, the triangle, and that's it. And this bottom just like that. Yeah. This is the, and you can just highlight, shade the ankle, the, the bottom a little bit. Maybe that's, that's the, the land, the end of the land there. Okay, so this little island, it's, a, it's more, it's, a, it's like, a, you know, Oregon coast or somewhere like that. I've seen this kind of a, and, and the dots could be a little smaller in the distance. Logically, it's, it's getting smaller, but not in proportion to perspective, you know, just the feel of it. So it could be a little uh, lighter too. Okay, just add these dots for vegetation. It just uh, fill in the, okay. I think there's more wrinkles some wrinkles between these two. But I just need to add a little more. 
before I start. Let's try brush a little bit more. So this formation, we need to wait it dry. Uh, then we dot more. And I dot this bottom part to finish. Just use uh, dark ink. I think this is medium, medium ink, right? Oh, okay. Daisy, uh, yeah, you can watch on YouTube if YouTube is faster. Okay. Um, Oh, I like this new feature because when someone types, it pops up. I don't have to open this conversation box. So they're improving. We take advantage of that. Now it's very uh, good because if you put in chat question, it pops up on my um, right out. So I can see it. Good. All right. So some dots here. It's very abstract. It's almost like uh, bars, not a, not a mass, right? Little, what do you call this? Um, so it it might be dark, dark gray, I think, but you cannot add it. It's it's just one one stroke thing. So one two three, you know, like that. That's that's kind of gray. It, it will dry lighter. So this this one has a directional movement. Sometimes you can use continued dots like a, to to describe a, a movement. You know, you can you can paint along along the the contour. Uh, I see he just. <laughs> if it if you use a uh, four four stroke, it would make it uh, destroyed. But he used uh, this kind of thing, new new style, I think, thing stroke. You can go right across the the contour without destroying that, and just add, just make it uh, rougher or um, um, softer. So just make the, the you know the 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 line a little softer. I'll add more interest, you know, just like that. So he he's very abstract in dealing with dots. Where to put dots? It could be. It could just make the. Um, just add a vert a uh, com uh, horizontal element to vertical, and you can add some vertical dots, and then the horizontal dots that that symbolize little trees or or bushes. Right here, like that, yeah. And uh, see, then you know. At the same time, you can go uh, reinstate some some uh, missing missing uh, definition. You can redefine things like that. So here we got a little more. Usually, this put on the on the shady part to enhance the yin yang contrast. So you can see where I put the dots. It's on the shady part, where the the hollow hollow uh, hole is, you know, and the also you know here we try to separate this two two plane, two plane, plane P L A E plane, yeah, different dimension of uh, you can use fingertips to blur it if it doesn't work. Take it, you know. Okay, so here we use dots to distinguish some planes. And uh, uh, oh, there are some trees I missed there. So let's go back and add that. On this side, we need to put a. I didn't see. Oh, I told I missed the whole lot. Um, for some reason, when I enlarge it, I didn't see the trees. I only see the tip of the rock. Uh -huh. So we have to. This is a little. This looks really uh, tilt. Uh, that's a little strange. So let me just 
fix that, I think. So yeah, we can we can we can add a little rock on top of this, I think. And just add a little line to redefine that white shape. It's a slope. That could be a viewpoint. I think, yeah. I now I understand it. Yeah, I just start to understand it. I wish I understand earlier. So this is the the house, and this is the viewpoint. You 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 take a up, uh, after dinner walk, and you you can you can go there and look out. Yeah, that's the viewpoint. So that was too big because I I uh, had the wrong proportion when I enlarged the original. I lost that. So now I add the tree here and some tall trees to stop the eye from going out. But there okay. Yeah, you, you know, you can go very fast if you, if you run out of time like this. So I can just... And remove the paper to the right a little. No, there, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for, for letting me know. Okay, so you can combine this group. I think there's some sh some tall ones, some short ones. Uh, so you can vary the ratio. Sometimes you just do several randomly, and then you 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 um, use the rules to fix it. Blot it away if it's too dark or something like that. And now add some dark, oops. Oh, that's probably okay. I need some dark, this is a near ground. So it's okay, I just add that. I need to add here, that's about it. Um, okay, here's... Here's the tree, and here's the plate. Okay, it may be different, but uh, uh, you know, if you if you have the same uh, reading like uh, as an artist, then you will make it right. I think if you think it's a cliff, you'll make it a cliff. If you think it's a platform, a viewpoint, you make it a you know a little slope, maybe a slope. Uh, the white uh, is the the top plane of this this cliff. This is a cliff, right? So you you could have your diff different uh, interpretation if you like. Uh, or I'm not going to color this and just uh, leave it. If you think uh, it's too dry, you can add very light. Light ink, uh, you know, not wash, just a uh, uh, watery strokes. Because sometimes if it's too too dry, it's not um, look balanced, you know. So I can see some uh, some wet strokes here and there. And uh, he he has a quote. Uh, very famous. He said, a good painting should combine the splash ink technique and uh, um, they, they treat ink as gold approach as well. So that means the thirsty strokes and splash, very wet strokes, all um, appear in the same painting would be good. So it will make the painting not look too um, flat. Uh, so let me, let me dot this part. We have three, four, two, three, five minutes. I think we just finish this by, and then we'll sign it. Uh, this should be a little lighter than the front. And you can dot. A little smaller. And I just 
touch the gray area. Um, so I try to squeeze out some white, some uh, light part. And you can see the dots goes along this ridge, but not uh, um, covering that. Uh, it's on this side. Anyway. If you have. It's time to, to go slow and <laughs> actually not to go fast. You could make a last minute mistakes as well. So I just to finish. Where did he didn't sign this one? That's weird. Um, probably he did something on the side outside of the painting. Let me see where I can do that. He has a seal. Is that a signature seal or? Um, yeah, it could be. Let me see. Or a, um, a mood seal. Um, see. Yeah, sometimes he use seal. This isn't a collector seal, some uh, some last name Huang. Yeah, it's, an, it's a half page, you know, this other page should have the calligraphy. Maybe that's how, they did, how he did it. This is another collector seal, it's a Japanese maybe. Nan Zu Yuan. Yeah, I don't know who it's a collector. Um, anyway, so he, he probably did uh, something like that, you know, like this, you know. The, the signature is on, on, the, on the other page, on the, on the neighboring page. Oh. So it's not a, okay. Um, I would just maybe, let me see where should I? What do you think? Where to, to put a signature, Charlie? <laughs> where should you put the signature? Yeah. Ooh, um, let me think. <laughs> what kind of signature are you going to use? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, you, you, if you adjust the year and the, oh, we should say, um, um, just the short one, I think. Homage to Dong Chi Chang. <laughs> okay. Maybe, yeah, we, we should do the English one, huh? Home is to Dong Chi Chang. Oh, I have to do the design. It's not easy to spell. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Home is to You mean the English one? Dong Chi Chang. Yeah. see if I can do that. Dong. Maybe Emily can help. <laughs> I don't know. I add a tree to the land, so make sure no one mistaken that's water or it's the land. Where, where you are, are you here on this land? Yeah. So, okay. so yeah, yeah, we have trees behind the house, right? That that that's a that's indication of it. This this is uh, this is uh, trees behind the house, serve that purpose. That, yeah. So this line could be the the ground line, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Add a more tree on there. Okay. Yeah. You can close this line with the. Oh yeah. Actually, it's pretty close. So I have a gap here. So let me add. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Uh, let me add that. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a good uh, point. I I need to make. So if you have a large group and a, a, a medium group, and then in the middle is you, you can have a small one, right? So it, it's a, it's a large, medium, small kind of uh, um, idea, and we also call that jumper between the two in in English, <laughs> not in Chinese. Is that yeah. something like this? Yeah, jumper. that would be good. Yeah, I think that's a good suggestion. Yeah, that, that's good. And let me just add another one. 
just has one behind this one. So we can have something. So this is a little darker, maybe just just to make more solid. So you, your eye is, is not going to mistake the name. This is the, um, the bank of the, the river, the inner harbor, maybe on this side. And uh, we should make this line a little wetter, maybe to feel more like a water instead of land. Oops, dark. Okay. So on the bottom, it's water again? Yeah, this is the, the steps. Oh, really? The, the several steps of the uh, water. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's water line. That's a water line. It's water line. Okay, let me see. Any? It's kind of hard to find a place to sign on this one. That's why he didn't sign it. Huh. I think the, the here. Maybe on, on this mountain. Yeah, I agree. Uh -huh. on side, too much on the side, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking if I just go beyond this line. Mm -hmm. okay, Started up in the mountain and then come down into the water. Yeah, maybe like uh, reflections. Yeah. Okay, I do it to like the reflections, right? Okay. And we'll make something contemporary, not traditional. Okay, let me use uh, some dark ink here. And I got, uh, I got this brush maybe better, the Seven Wolf brush. Seven Wolf brush. Um, Ping, uh, how do you say homage in Chinese? Xiang Mo, Xiang Shima Zhi Jing, Shiba, right? Zhi Jing Dong Xi Chang. Dong Xi Chang. Maybe I just say Zhi Jing Dong Xi Chang, right? Homage. To, we don't say to Dong Chi Chang. Year of a Red, 2020, that's the year, right? Um, should I write a season, maybe? Chill, autumn. Autumn months. Yeah, on this paper, I notice <laughs> everything turns light. Even use a pure black, it looks gray. But I think that's okay, just to con con uh, consistent with the, the painting. Well, his painting on the back, on the background, it looks like a, looks like a little out of focus that's give me the feeling of that oh 
Do you feel that way or just the me? You mean the whole painting looks like a blur? No, the, on the back mountain. Oh, the back mountain. Um, it's original. Oh, his original. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little loose because it's in the distance, right? It's uh, almost like unfinished uh, kind of uh, without, uh, uh, especially the last layer on this side. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, because you don't want to have heavy paints on uh, ink on this side, right? Um, yeah, I, I have something to balance that. So I didn't finish this part either. So uh, you can have, uh, you ha you, yeah, you can always, uh, consolidate everything, you know, but uh, we try to, to keep it loose. So this layer is very uh, empty uh, uh, or uh, void. Yeah. So that, that's uh, kind of like unfinished feel. Yeah. So is that good or bad? You, you just feel. Like, no, just, you know, uh -huh. just to on, give me on, the feeling on. that way. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's uh, maybe the charm of this this scene. Yeah, yeah, it, it uh, yeah it it has this uh, uh, four uh, several words I can tell you. Uh, he he prefers Mao. Do you like Wang Yuanqi? Later develop that into uh, it's rough rather than uh, smooth. You know, dark. He prefer dark. Actually, not this one. Maybe. Uh, than uh, light, or, or uh, he, he used the word chen, chen means uh, sinking, right? Or uh, more nailed than floating. Mm -hmm. I don't know, does it make sense? Yeah, so you go slow and heavy with uh, very heavy pressure, you know, you just go slow and uh, solid, yeah, consolidate there too. Yeah, I think I, I like it. It looks like uh, reflections of the mountain. <laughs> I think that, that works. I got some stains here, but that's okay. The original painting always have this kind of uh, um, I should, oh, I think, you know, even I wear this, it, you can still get, uh, um, it will be more if you, if you, you know, have a sweat hand. So that's why I wear this, uh, this, this uh, sleeve <laughs> from, uh, cut sleeve. So from, what kind of sleeve is this? It's a cotton? Yeah, it's cotton. Yeah, you can cotton. use just anything. Yeah, I, this is Victoria's uh, old, uh, sweater shirt. Uh huh. You can use okay. socket or anything. Yeah. Okay. So that, that, I'll try that. Yeah. Th this solves a lot of problem like this. I don't know why it's, I still got the, a little bit uh, smudging, but that will prevent it uh, from happening. Okay. Uh, time is up, and uh, I hope you enjoyed copy Dong Chi Chang's painting. Next time we will. Uh, We'll do maybe one of the ones. Uh, I did Wang Yuan Qi already, so if you're interested, you can take a look. Maybe I, I can do more. I, I'll, I'll see what you're interested in. And uh, either Wang Hui's painting I sent you earlier uh, with the handout. We haven't done that. Uh, they very, uh, I, 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 I kind of like that painting, but it's not very, um, Powerful, maybe it's just uh, so so uh, peaceful. Let me show you. That one is a candidate, and uh, the one I I send you. Yeah, this is the one. You can you can study this and let me see if you need need to do it. Uh, it's a hemp, basically a hemp. Uh, and the Mi style dots and some uh, Wu Zhen, you know the. Yuan style master dots and uh, the ink is very good, I think. The water, maybe it's on raw paper, I, I'm not sure, or semi size. 
it's very water, you know, very subtle. Okay. And you can see the composition has a chill in there. China go to come with the mountains. Um, and then later we'll do the one of the four monks, Shi Tao. That's my my favorite artist, and it's very hard to 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 do because he, he the the natural um, naturalistic or individualistic painter they uh, prefer to study natural. Uh, the orthodox school just use uh, ancient painting for the source of inspiration. However. Both of them, both of the two um, sides, the aspects and the individualists, um, use Dong Chi Chang's vocabularies in their painting. Um, so even Shi Tao, he's uh, um, famous with uh, outdoor, you know, research uh, or a search for strange rocks, uh, you know, to uh, Develop his composition, but his his brushwork, his strokes are uh, still within the Dong uh, Chan vocabulary, you know. So, and we will see how that works in, in the next lesson, maybe uh, the following lesson. Okay. Great. Great. And let me see what you're doing in, in the classroom. Maybe we don't have time to today. If you have any questions, you can stay longer, okay? I'm going to stop recording.